All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah HaKodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, and honors to the rest of the 144,000 which is a part of the hopeful elect, all right? Laborers who are out there laboring and uh, hazarding their lives by pushing this word on the highways and byways by way of the World Wide Web that this message that the Heavenly Father has given us may hit the ears of the elect and they may be sealed, all right? Shalom to all the hopeful members of the elect. Um, this video here is going to be uh, based upon this video that you see me uh, on the screen. I got queued up, which I'm not going to play. It's, a, it's an hour-long video. Um, and this is dealing with the sword, all right? The Heavenly Father's sword, all right? And I caught wind of this through this video here that I'm going to play. I'm going to play this segment from this video from... Uh, Patrick Humphrey's uh, video because this is how I uh, heard of this this doctor here that uh, that you see on the screen. All right, his name is Doctor. Um, I believe it's uh, James Giordano or something to that effect. I believe it's he got Italian name, um, but he's going in on. Uh, this technology, all right. Um, as you can see, the title of this video, and this goes back to 2017, all right. This information that he was bringing out in this video, and we know what happened uh, March of 2020, all right. And then 2021 came around, and you had billions of people, all right around the earth and here in Babylon the Great um, receive this technology, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Patrick Humphrey's little segment that he took from this video, and then I'm going to, um, you know, of course, marry it with the scriptures, all right? Because this is the, uh, this man is definitely the left hand of the heavenly father all right if anybody is out there teaching that esau edom is not the so-called white man uh they have no idea what the hell is going on all right and i say that because esau was going to rule by the sword as the prophecy states all right and uh uh he was going to be ruling in these last days, all right? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. all right? So if you're following the group that's telling you that Esau is not the so-called white man, you totally uh, uh, bugged out and have no clue what the hell is going on, all right? And you will be caught by the sword of the Lord, which is this devil, all right? Because this, this devil... Uh, the sword that he's been given, all right, and as it as it has uh, been upgraded throughout throughout the uh, rule of this devil, this is the height of his sword that he has, all right. So I'm gonna play this video, and then <clears throat> then we're gonna go into uh, the scripture that I have in mind, and if the spirit gives me utterance for other scriptures. How about Shimmy? How about Shai uh We'll bring them. We'll bring them out. So let's listen here. All right. Now this will be on my uh, my uh, phone. So what is happening? I believe. I believe they are releasing things, and this is why we are seeing all of these flare-ups around the world right now. All right. All these different countries, China, Europe, we're seeing flare-ups, and I want you to listen to what this doctor said his name is dr james 
Giordino. And I want you to listen to this really quick. Moreover, you heard earlier about the idea of nanoparticulate matter that can be utilized in a weaponizable way. And here, too, we're looking very, very strongly at what nanoparticulate matter can do to the nervous system. Some ongoing studies with our colleagues in the medical branches of NATO have, in fact, shown that the use of nanoparticulate matter in a scatter arrangement can be used to incur what looks to be broad-scale epidemiological stroke epidemics. So what we're able to do here is infiltrate the brain space with nanoparticulate matter that aggregates in situ, on site in the brain. And there's one of two things, either penetrates from the vascular space, gets in through the bloodstream, gets in through the nose, through the mucosa, or infiltrates the vascular space and clogs it. What is the result? What's called a nanoparticulate stroke or a hemorrhagic diathesis, fancy word, for it's a predisposition to individuals having brain bleeds. Demonstrated? Oh, absolutely. We're able to show animal models of same. The Italian group has done a fair amount of work demonstrating that nanoparticulate matter can be highly disruptive, not only of brain vascularity, but brain function. You may not necessarily incur a stroke, but you're going to begin to disrupt the network properties of the brain, and as a result, engage something more of a long war's effect to the use of these types of matters, where you now begin to influence the population in increasingly concentric circles of expansion. All right, so you just heard what he said. He... Now that was just a snippet of this video that you see here that I have queued up, all right? He was going in for a whole hour. I, I literally watched the whole uh, segment of it. And boy, oh boy, you know, this man is definitely the sword of the Lord, all right? Now, let's go to the scripture that I want to bring out. Um, regarding uh, this uh, this this sword, all right, the heavenly Father sword, and this is why King David prayed the way he prayed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start there in the book of uh, Psalms. Okay, Psalms the 17th chapter. Let's go there real quick. Bear with me a second. And this is the this is the newest type of sword. We haven't uh, seen uh, what this sword can do. All right, and we're getting ready to see it. All right, you heard all these flare-ups that are happening all around the world now. This uh, mysterious. Uh, respiratory uh, pneumonia is popped up and I know Ohio for sure and I believe a, a few other states if I'm not mistaken so this is we're getting ready to go through the real deal alright it ain't gonna be like March of 2020 alright we're getting ready to see the real deal alright Jacob's trouble alright and the heavenly father is showing us that it's about to go down all right, Esau Edom has everything in place and the heavenly father is getting ready to let him uh, do what he does with this technology. All right. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 17. Um, and I'm going to start at eight. It says, keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me from my deadly enemies who come past me about, all right? And that's Esau Edom with this tech, all right? It says, they are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth, they speak proudly. And when you listen to this video that I have queued up on the screen, you're going to hear the, the, the pride uh, of, and he's just one of the, the so-called doctor scientists that's in this field. Okay, all right, because he's talking about these uh, uh, nanoparticulates um, as weapons to put in people. And I remember in the movie uh, Raccoon City, there was a scene where the dude actually said that they have turned the people into weapons. All right. <clears throat> so this 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 man really it's the heavenly father on the left hand side is getting ready to really judge the planet earth two-thirds of you jakes that refuse to repent 
it's going to be a it's going to be a wild ride for you all right a wild one very painful and very sorrowful okay weeping and gnashing of teeth as the scriptures say all right it says it says they are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth they speak proudly they have now come past us in our steps and we're compassed about with this technology all right there's no way around uh uh you know this technology lest ye be of the heavenly father's elect okay because we're surrounded by these elf towers uh uh these devices all in your homes okay and then you people that took that jump shot oh boy yeah you just wait and i guarantee you majority of those people that are flaring up and all in these different uh you know uh uh especially over there in china you know that's showing these uh symptoms of this this uh mysterious uh uh respiratory this new thing that they talking about guarantee you majority of these people have taken the uh c hip and those that might have that may have not have taken the c hip maybe they have been uh you know involved you know with someone who has taken the c hip all right or not the c hip but the uh jump shot solakia all right because this, like I said, this is about to be the real thing. This ain't about to be uh, how it was three years ago. Okay? We're getting ready to see mass casualties out here, man. Okay? It says, uh, verse 11. It says, they have now come past us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth like as a lion that is greedy of his prey and that's why you're starting to see uh kill gates of hell all right starting to make uh he's starting to uh rear his face up you know through articles and uh him uh there was one article i seen that said uh billions will die in 2024 all right so he's starting to rear his head up uh, in articles, okay? So this thing is getting ready to go down, all right? And if you're not covered by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Yahweh Shai, then uh, it's going to be real bad for you out here, man. Real bad, Okay? It says, uh, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Right, because this this sword, the way he coming is, is secretly. He not coming straight at us like he did to the so-called Native Americans, like he did to the uh to the uh 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 you know when he first got into power. All right, when he was on his conquest to paradise. He's not coming like that no more. He's coming in secret places. All right? He disguised these places as places to help you. Come and get your jump shot so you don't be affected by this uh, this novel uh, respiratory uh, uh, the disease that's going around. Okay? So he's coming in secret. He ain't coming full-fledged with, with his guns blazing. Um ready to blow you away he's coming in secret it says uh arise O lord disappoint him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword see this man is the sword of the heavenly father when you watch this video you know if the spirit's on you to check out what this man is talking about, you will, you will, if you don't understand that this man is a sword of the Lord, after watching this and understanding these scriptures, you definitely will understand that this man is the sword of the Lord, all right? 
It says, uh, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from, the, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy head treasure. All right? Because the Heavenly Father gave them this type of uh, technology to where they can do these things. All right? The most I filled this devil with this uh, technology to uh, bring forth the day of evil, as it is written, Proverbs 16 and 4. All right? The Lord have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right? It says, um, they are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. And this, is, this has been his M.O. since he's been in the power seat. That's why he's remained in the power seat. All right? Because the Heavenly Father has uh, kept him there and, and has kept this uh, generational, uh, for lack of a better term, um, line of Edomites to continue to further uh, this technology and to further uh, the Heavenly Father's doing on the left-hand side, all right? So let me go to this scripture that I wanted in the book of Ezekiel, okay? Let me go right to it. Okay, here we go. Ezekiel chapter 21, verse 9. All right. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. All right. Now we just read that the wicked is the sword of the heavenly father. Okay. And it's furbished. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this word furbish means in the Hebrew. Okay. All right. It says uh, the Hebrew word for uh, furbish is marat. All right. Which means to bear, polish, make smooth or bold, or bear to to make bare, to scour, polish. All right. When you polish something up, you you making it new. All right. So that's the type of this this sword that this man has, that the heavenly Father has given him. It's a new type of sword. All right. It's no longer the conventional, all right? It's, it, it's been uh, non-conventional, okay? Uh, the Hebrew word, uh, like I said, marat, it says to uh, polish, all right? Sharpen, bright, all right? If you sharpen something, you, you're making it better, all right? So that's what this man's... Uh, sword represents it's a it's a better type of sword all right to where he ain't leaving no fingerprints at the crime scene okay and he's going to be able to say well there's a uh, outbreak okay and the people will believe it because there will be mass casualties out here okay and that that goes into the pestilence that the heavenly father uh prophesied that will come in the book of psalms 91 all right Okay, through King David. So going back to Ezekiel 21. Son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. And that's what we're getting ready to witness out here. All right. You see the, the hospitals around China are, are, are being full again. All right. And they telling you that this thing has showed up in the states now, okay? And the Republicans, an uh, 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 article that the uh, beloved priest uh, Barack had posted um, stated that they uh, are looking for lockdowns, all right? And, and uh, also uh, travel bans to China, okay? 
So we're getting ready to witness the real deal. Okay. It says it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? We ain't in the time of mirth, but two thirds of Jake are in that time. All right. Jake stay in the spirit of mirth. Okay. It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. And that's Esau Edom. And he's getting ready to slay with this uh, sword, this technology that he has. And this sword and this technology that he has is going to be so... Uh, uh, it's going to make such a great uh, sword slaughter that it's going to put the people in fear. And it's going to put you in fear so much so that you will be deceived to receive the micro C-hip if you are not a part of the elect. All right. Majority of the people on the on the uh, on the earth are going to take that C-hip. All right. Because the fear that this this sword is getting ready to generate. All right. So I just wanted to, you know, bring that information. I'm going to place this link in the description box. Uh, Lord will, you know, if the spirit's on you, you know, you can watch it. And, um, you know, have this is insight that the Heavenly Father has given us. Because there's no way in hell without this truth that I will be looking into, you know, things as, as such. All right. I wouldn't give two shits about Esau and his uh, technology. But. Knowing this knowledge and this truth that the Heavenly Father has opened up uh, our minds to, all right, that this man is the left hand of the Heavenly Father, all right? So, Lord will, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. Again, I'll place this link in the description box for you, and, um, and we on to the next one. Shalom.